So, along with Chandrayaan 3, let us not forget Chandrayaan 1. Chandrayaan 1 was launched in 2008. And I have no hesitation in saying that the first announcement of Chandrayaan was by Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee on the 15th of August in 2003. After 2003, you had Chandrayaan 1 in 2008, you had Chandrayaan 2 in 2019, and you had Chandrayaan 3 in 2023. What does it mean? It means there is continuity in governance. If a Prime Minister refuses to acknowledge continuity in governance, if a Prime Minister believes that the world has started only when I became Prime Minister, if a Prime Minister believes that Indian science has become great, that the Indian space program has become great only when I became Prime Minister, sir, I, I beg to differ. Let us take, along with Chandrayaan 1, Aditya, Aditya L1, which was also a great success. We have not mentioned it in your resolution. But this Aditya L1, the solar laboratory, which was launched one week after uh, yeah, Chandrayaan 3. So when did Aditya 1 start? Aditya 1 started in the year 2006. It took 17 years for Aditya 11 L1. Sir. Sir, can I finish? Sir, it took 17 years for Aditya L1 to be conceived, to be planned, to be executed, and to be launched. The Honorable Leader of the House said, we are now making things in India. So we have always been making things in India. Larsen and Tubro, Valchandnagar Industries. There are so many Indian companies I can think of which have been associated with the Indian space program going back to the 70s. To say that suddenly out of 2014, we have started making things for our space program is a complete distortion of facts. In fact, the Indian space program has always been based on creative partnerships with the Indian private sector and Indian public sector. Our nuclear reactors are made in India. Our rockets are made in India. Our launchers are made in India. Our satellites are made in India. And they were being made in India before 2014. 